Hi, Collie Cod Kids. Hi, Tucker Kids. Hi, Glover Kids. And hi, Cunningham Kids. So today's project is how to make the Millennium Falcon from Star Wars. So if you're not familiar with the Millennium Falcon, it is the ship that Han Solo and Chewbacca um, would fly in the Star Wars movies. So I'm going to show you the um, a finished project so I can see what it will look like when you're done. Let's see if I can get it on the camera here. There it is. So there's your Millennium Falcon. It's the spaceship. There's the cockpit. Right? And this is the front of the ship right here. And this is the back. And this is like a little satellite dish that's on the top of it. Okay. All right? Okay. So for this project, you will need two paper plates. So I have two of them here. Right here. You'll need a pair of scissors. You'll need some kind of glue. You'll need a paintbrush. You'll need some masking tape. If you don't have masking tape, scotch tape will be just fine. You'll need some bottle caps. So I used, let's see, eight bottle caps for my ship. And this is going to be like for the exhaust ports that are on the back of the ship. And a little bit of detail, right? You'll need a container of water for when you're painting. And you'll need some gray paint. So if you have white paint and uh, black paint, you can mix it together to get gray. Or you can just use um, gray paint like this right here. And the very last thing that you'll need is a piece of white paper. Okay. It can be notebook paper if that's all that you have at home. Okay. All right, so we're going to start off with um, the white paper and a pair of scissors. So I'm going to move everything else to the side. So the first thing I'm going to do is fold my white paper in half. So right now we're going to make the front part of the Millennium Falcon and we need to cut two triangles. So I'm just going to use my scissors and cut a big triangle right here in my paper. So because I folded the paper, I'm going to end up with two triangles at the same time. About that big. So I've got two triangles there. Keep this, we're going to use it later. So now that I have my two triangles, I'm going to cut off the top of the triangles. I'm going to cut right here. Like that. All right, so now we're going to attach this to our paper plates. So I'm going to take one plate, I'm going to arrange my cut-off triangles right here on the edge of the plate, like that. Make sure a little bit of the triangle is like hanging off the edge of the plate. I'm going to take my tape, tape my triangles onto the plate. Don't worry about how this looks while you're taping it because we won't see it later. All right, so I just used two pieces of tape to get that on there. Now I'm going to take my other plate, put it right on top, like a sandwich. Like that. And I'm going to tape the two plates together with some small pieces of tape. So I'm just going to go like that. I'll probably use four pieces. So like one here, one here, one here, and one here. If I'm going too fast, just pause the video, okay? All right, so now I have this part done. The next part we're going to do is the cockpit. So you're going to take that leftover paper that you had. Move my ship over here so I have more room. All right, so now I'm going to cut a rectangle out of my paper. So I'm going to use the bottom part of my paper right here. I'm just going to cut a rectangle. Save this, we're going to use it again. So now I have my rectangle. I'm going to roll my rectangle 
into a tube like that. Then I'll take a, a piece of tape, tape my tube together so it stays rolled up. There's my tube. All right. So now we're going to cover up one end of our tube. So an easy way to do that is take your leftover white paper and you're going to trace one end of your tube with a marker or a pencil. And this way we'll get a circle that's just the right size for sealing up the end of the tube. So I traced it. I'm going to cut it out. And now I'm going to tape my circle onto the end of my tube. Use as much tape as you need to for this because we're going to paint over everything at the end anyway, so you won't see you won't see your your marker lines or any of that. When you're done with the project, you won't see any of that. Take one more piece. Okay. So now I have one end of my tube that's all sealed up and this end is still open. Okay. So now I'm going to show you how to attach your cockpit to your ship. So bring your Millennium Falcon in front of you. All right, so the cockpit is going to go on this side of the Millennium Falcon. Okay, so I'm going to turn it like this so you can watch me how I attach it. All right, so we left this open, this end open, so we can put a piece of tape in here. So the tape is going to stick to the inside of the cockpit, and it's also going to stick to the plate right here. All right, so. I'm going to use a fairly long piece of tape like that. Cockpit on your ship. Put the tape inside it like that. And then the rest of the tape sticks to the plate. Okay. It could be a little bit wobbly like that, so I'm going to put another piece of tape underneath. Just to stabilize it a little bit. I don't want it to move around too much. So I've got a piece under there. And there, the cockpit is attached. Okay, so now let's do the little exhaust ports that are on the back of the ship. So for the exhaust ports, I'm going to use bottle caps. So these are just bottle caps from my water bottles because I drink a lot of water and I save the caps. And I'm just going to glue them onto the top like that. Arrange them just like the real Millennium Falcon. And there are two other circle shapes. If you look at a picture of the Millennium Falcon, there's two circle shapes right here on this part of the ship. So you can either use the caps here and glue them on, or you can just paint the circle shapes here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and glue on the caps there. I just feel like I might as well, because I have the caps, so I might as well do it. You can be generous with the glue. You're going to put the glue on the flat part of the bottle cap. So this is the part of the cap that has the rim, and this is the flat part. Put it on the flat part. As much glue as you need. I put a whole bunch. I feel like the more glue I put on, the better. So after this, we'll do the little radar dish that it has, the ship has. And then last is the painting. So one more. And then I'll put two on the front. One there. One here. Okay, so now the little radar dish. I put this to the side, bring back my white scrap paper. You're going to need to cut out another circle. It's going to be smaller than the one we did for the tube. So I'll just do like a small circle, like that. It's about the size of a quarter. 
cut it out. Okay. Alright, so now I'm going to take a piece of tape. And I'm going to fold it up a couple of times. So I get a rectangle shape out of it. Probably do another piece just to make sure it stays a rectangle. Just like my rectangle tape. So once I have a little rectangle made out of the tape, I'm going to bend the bottom of the tape just a little bit so it looks like a little foot. See, it's got a little foot there. All right, so I'm going to take my radar circle, I'm going to tape my little tape foot onto the circle, and then I'm going to take another piece of tape, small piece, I'm going to stick it to the foot, the top of the foot there, and this is what I'm going to stick onto the ship, so bring my ship back. The radar dish goes opposite the cockpit, so right here. So here I have my tape. I'm just gonna let me turn it to the side so you can see. So I'm just gonna stick it right on there. And now I have a little radar dish that sticks up and out. Okay. So now our Millennium Falcon is all put together. So the last thing that you would do is paint it. Right, so you can use white and black paint mixed together to get a light gray color, or you can actually buy a bottle of gray paint. So you decide how you want to paint it, and I'll show you um, the finished one that I have, so you can see how I painted it. So here it is. I did the plates all gray. I did these shapes in the front all gray. I did the cockpit gray. I did my um, radar dish gray. What I did black was the little circles in front here, the six exhaust ports that are in the back. I did a little uh, black circle on my radar dish right there. And I did the windows of my cockpit gray. Uh, sorry, black. <laughs> The windows looked black when I looked at uh, photos of the Millennium Falcon. I didn't bother to paint the bottom because you don't really see it, but feel free to paint the bottom if you want to. And there is the Millennium Falcon. All right, so have fun with this project. Enjoy your Millennium Falcon ship, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.